Hey boys and girls, welcome to Benchart, time for Classic and for today what I do have in here is Yakuza Like a Dragon, a game developed by Ryo Gagatuku Studio and it is using their Dragon Engine. So this was released last year but only today I decided to take the MX130 to the test because I didn't have really the money to buy the game at the time and the game it is now available on Xbox Game Pass, which is great. As you can see, I'm running with uh, some custom settings, so I'm just using 720p and pretty much textures on eye, four times anisotropic filtering and FXAA, and also 75% of resolution scaling. So by using these settings, what I get it is an experience with a good average of 47 frames per second, with a minimum of 35. But since the game moved on to a turn based combat, you don't really need the 30 frames per second as a minimum. And you can go with the same settings but with uh, native 720p by having this average of 33 and uh, a minimum of 24. Or I don't recommend you to go with uh, low settings because the low settings to my custom low, there is a huge difference in graphics quality. Uh, this comes only by... Uh, the difference by the textures so if you play with the textures on low uh, or if then you kind of change it to textures on high there is a huge difference in graphics quality in this game for some reason all right so and also as you could saw the difference in performance it is just one frame per second when changing the textures from low to high when changing the texture filtering from none to four times and when changing the anti-aliasing from none to FXAA. So changing all these settings only changes like one frame per second. So this is a recommendation that I had in the past for the other Yakuza games which behave in the same way. Uh, when I say this is really that, texture quality have a huge impact in graphics quality but not in the performance. All right, so this is my recommended settings for the game, whatever if you go with 75% of resolution scaling or not, uh, try at least to keep the texture quality on eye, have a little bit of anisotropic and also anti aliasing All the rest you should keep it on low because we don't really have the graphics power to power up the game with median or high settings at a respectable frame rate. But that's really up to you, this is the results with the stuff that I tried and so far all I can say it is playable and despite I'm using 75% of resolutions coming in here like I see told you you don't really need this since the game it is now turn it based so now that I've talked a little bit about the performance let's talk a little bit about the game regarding the game I barely scratch the surface of any Yakuza game and one of the things that I can say for the Yakuza like a dragon is that a lot of people uh, grew a little bit disappointed with the fact that Yakuza Like a Dragon it is now a turn-based based game. So Judgment, the new spin-off from Yakuza developed by the same developers of the Yakuza series, the Ryo Gai Kituku, uh, decided to move on the um, real-time combat Yakuza style to the Judgment game and they decided to transform uh, the Yakuza into a turn-based based combat. So many people were simply disappointed by this decision and they couldn't saw themselves playing this game but for many people that did give a chance to this game they were uh, completely jaw dropped because the identity of Yakuza according to many users are still in here and better than ever so there is so much more stuff to do it's like the, the fact that they left the focus in real time combat and triggered the GRPG stuff let them to have more time to focus in other stuff that they thought it would be interesting to complete um, a little bit the game with tasks and mini games like the usual stuff that you accuse have. So, what I mean is the story, people say that it is amazing, it's one of the best in the series. Uh, the Ishiban, the new character, they say that it is great, it is super great, it's a very likely uh, character, so it was a good move according to them too. And the combat system, despite many people were kind of, mm, I'm not sure if I'm going to like it, uh, the thing is, uh, in the reality, people end up uh, letting it through, alright, and end up enjoying uh, the combat. But for many people, that wasn't really going to enjoy this type of combat some of the people still played the game 
and they say that uh, the game is simply a masterpiece inside the Yakuza series, despite the combat they change. So, yeah, it depends on how much you will tolerate this type of combat if you don't enjoy it. But for most of the people uh, that play the game, they say that it's clearly one of the best in the series, all right, despite its combat change. So I think that's all that I want to talk about the gameplay itself. The game is still expensive even after 6 months of its release, or even more. So it's still $59.99 on Steam, so I decided to subscribe to Xbox Game Pass in order to get access to the game. The game was added to Xbox Game Pass uh, during the E3 of Microsoft, so it is available for about one week, one week after the... Um, so it was really the announcement that I was waiting before testing out this game. I was really waiting this for getting in the Game Pass so I could try it. So here it is guys, the video with the performance of the game. Hope you keep enjoying the rest of the gameplay, which in this case will be mostly cutscenes. And I do hope to see you soon. Goodbye. All right. You're still pretty strong. <sighs> but not strong enough. Say goodbye to your wallet. Please, beat me up if that's what your boss wants. But don't take my money! Well, looky here. He did have the cash. This fucking lowlife had no intention of paying it back. Hey, wait. What are you doing? Adiki! What? Just getting all the junk out of his wallet first, man. Looks more like money to me. All right, great son. Like I said, I only wanted your wallet. Huh? Oh. Okay. Okay, let's go, Mitsu. Hey, Hariki! Hey, miss! Where's the young mess? I, I mean, have you seen Masato Arakawa? I'm very sorry, but I haven't seen him today, sir. Oh, damn it. Huh? Sorry I'm late, young master. Something came up while I was doing collections. Anything else you want to announce?
you okay, young master? I'm fine. We're almost there. Wait, don't go in yet. Duck in here for a sec. Uh, um, okay. Greatest ephedrine injector. I had it imported. Uh, ephedrine? It's a specialized performance enhancer. It stimulates the sympathetic nervous system, so even someone with my condition will be able to stand and walk just like anybody else. The effect will be immediate, but it won't last more than a few hours. But how? How did you get something like that? Today is my woman's birthday. I can't embarrass her by going in there like this. That sounds crazy, though. Don't you think it's kind of risky? No. It just hasn't been approved for use in Japan. That's all. Injected here. Huh? But none of this sounds good to me, young master. We don't really know what else it might do to you. <laughs> You're a fucking wuss. Sir? Young master? Young master! Master? <laughs> <laughs> 